Health news tonight. Mental health is addressed in the newly signed gun law. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Momenta breaks out some of the provisions designed to improve access to mental health care. Jocelyn? Darren Sonia, I spoke with Vicki Veltri, the health care advocate of the state, who had a role in framing the mental health substance abuse section of the bill as it was debated. She tells me the major points of the gun law signed by the governor earlier today include private insurance reforms, such as insurance providers must now respond within 24 hours of a request for treatment. Also, they will no longer be able to use their own criteria to make that decision. We force the carriers to use some sort of standardized criteria by which to decide whether things are medically necessary for people, and they have to be open and transparent. To address the shortage of trained specialists, pediatricians can now partner with child psychiatrists. The health care advocate points out while the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary put the spotlight on mental health, she believes gun violence on its own is a public health crisis. Gun violence is a major issue in the United States as it is in, is in Connecticut. And there are a lot of people who have committed violent gun crimes who are not mentally ill. Now, there is a provision to get early intervention and prevention services in place by training people such as first responders and teachers on understanding the symptoms of mental health and or substance abuse. A task force will also take a closer look at the state's mental health system.